up for a great adventure again with Li Hao with the new bike with the with the BMW Motorrad pack we're going to uh I know and and we should, we should get those like you know how the BMW guys always have the corresponding BMW jacket oh yeah yeah, yeah. if it's only they make good jackets though I don't know <laughs> Yeah, we're, I still we're, remember the leather jacket that we... we oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was so thin. In San Diego, yeah. Yes. Yeah, this time we're going to um, a Phoenix first, and then we're going to hit Grand Canyon, Zion, and, and Bryce Canyon. So... You got your plugs? We went around the Hoover Dam on the way to Phoenix, Arizona. The weather was gloomy, but it was still pretty sunny. The road to Phoenix was very windy, which gave me a disc pain in my neck. It's probably because I was using a helmet that is 23 years old. Time for a change. During the road, we saw a line of Corvettes. In between Kingman and Wilkenburg, we had a pretty hazardous event. Li Hao's strap was loose and was wrapped around his shaft drive. We had to have an um, emergency stop because this thing was stuck in here. So we're rolling it and pulling it out. We got it out by using the center stand. It's burnt. Because I remember there was a moment when the back kind of shifted a little bit. Really? Yeah, I was wondering what that was. Oh. <laughs> sure, sure. Can I bring you anything? You want more bread? You need it. After eating at Kingman, we went to Cycle Gear in Phoenix and bought a new helmet, which broke soon after. Little update, we are at Sedona. No, we went past Sedona. We're at Flagstaff now. Um, Li Hao had to uh, take a shower, so we're trying to find a, a truck stop. In the meantime, I got the new Arai helmet, but 30 minutes after buying the helmet, this little piece broke off. I think it's defective, it's supposed to be like this. Yeah, $750 helmet, defective, but other than that, it's phenomenal. So I think I'm just gonna uh, keep it, but that thing repaired. It's a little bit dewy out here, but this is the campsite we used. Some sort of a horse campsite. It looks really nice. We got rained on a little bit. The wind is blowing fast. Look at the clouds moving. Right now it's 6.30. Inside my tent it looks like this. Well, now we're gonna make some coffee. and uh, go about our day. First agenda of the day, making coffee. We're grinding, grinding the whole bean to uh, using the French press. Is that the French press? I don't think it's called the French press. It looks like a French, French press. French press is the one where you actually press yeah. it. Yeah. Remember this coffee machine is, but I just know it's gonna be great. Hello. Hey, hello. So cute. It turns out the the place we stayed is for horse people. So there's another horse over there. But these two are so cute. Majestic. Hello. Uh, poor baby. So cold. Oh. Did you guys look your mouth? On the dirt road, we had to stop twice. 
once to pick up Lee House charging cable that's dragging on the ground, and one more time to check my low tire pressure warning. The road to Grand Canyon was quite cold and windy. We first went to the lodge and had a brunch. Extract yourself. Mather Point. Insane. <laughs> we don't get them in. Oh, no, we don't. They don't bite? I don't think, I don't think they're venomous. There were a group of Australians who dealt with the big spiders for us Americans. We originally planned to visit Bryce Canyon and Zion Canyon, but there was just no way we could make it before sunset so we decided to head back to Vegas. We stopped at a local supermarket for some quick rest, and I almost left my backpack there, but a kind stranger picked it up and was waiting for me. And we ate dinner at Mesquite McDonald's. It was raining and winding pretty bad with thunderstorm, but I got home safe by 11. Hopefully the next trip will come soon.